Tiny society has made you this wonderful embroidered black to hang on your office wall. But that's a big number, 742. You know, we know we know how much when you were a senior you coveted having access to the cook room. <laughs> and some of you don't know, but the cook's room came with some special privileges. And Vic took advantage of all those privileges. But he's been away from it for so long. And so what we've done is... You got Val in here? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, he's got Val in there. Oh, that, oh, that, that's here. an Irma. <laughs> yeah, an Irma, yeah. Long, permanent key to the cook's room. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys later. I'm <laughs> and <laughs> we're not we're not exactly sure who you can uh, <laughs> who you can entice into coming to the cook's room these days. But <laughs> <laughs> Rosanna. Vic, we love you. <laughs> Thanks for everything you've done. Right, oh, that's the, nice. Thank you, Chuck. And that's the part one of three halves. The next half is uh, what well, we just wanted to put together a memory book uh, for you, and and we were wondering about what to do with the front page, but lo and behold. The Beaver Bronco Barristers <laughs> newsletter just came out, and of course it focuses on the careers of brilliant graduates from both schools, that is uh, Oregon State and Santa Clara. This month's issue is Vic Bertner. Next month's will be Larry Finer. <laughs> and uh, there's some contents in it uh, created by Vic with help from Victoria and Zach, I'm sure, uh, including articles like, are you guilty? <laughs> and nine other questions never to ask a client. <laughs> Effectively handling witnesses, comforting the afflicted, and afflicting the comfortable. <laughs> and then prop proper barbecue equipment for entertaining large groups. I wish they could all be California grills. <laughs> and a inside a moment of seriousness. Oh, by the way, we you'll be expecting a, uh, a card, a gift card in the mail, and it will you know, it'll satisfy your comforts for a while, depending okay. on your frugality. <laughs> but uh, a serious part of this is we have an affidavit here signed by a number of the brothers uh, essentially saying Vic Bertner is a true friend and brother. And it goes into how we were introduced to you and our, the privilege of, we have the privilege of having that done. Talks about your career and how, and let me read this, if you, if you could bear with me. Every year since 2001, the brothers have come together for their union in, De in Den, and Vic has hosted a Friday afternoon picnic at his country estate. He has provided this gift openly, willingly, and graciously, without any expectation other than having a fine time with us. We, his brothers, have put together this memory book for Vic, as a very small token of our appreciation of his love and generosity. For Vic is indeed a true friend and brother. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you very, very much. Speech, speech. <laughs> oh, it's a picture of a, a Vic running rampant across <laughs> Central California. <laughs> uh, part three, before we have Vic say anything, uh, part three is, if anybody wants to say something else, this is the time to do it. 
I know those stories. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, all right. Okay, Ian, 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 Ian and, 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 and I think wherever Bill uh, Kellis uh, is, family this, members now, can I'll return this to you. Uh, 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 mug. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. William and I decided to hitchhike to California, and so we hitchhiked down the down the the, the freeway. Well, it wasn't a freeway part of the time. All the way down to um, uh, Santa Monica, or where was it, to uh, Carney's place. Her, so we Her stayed with Carney. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and here I am, I'm just a young guy, so I'm introduced to both Carney <laughs> and Vic. And so we're coming back up the coast, and we call Vic, and Vic says, well, I'll pick you up, and we'll go out and have, have some giggles or something. And have a beer. Have a beer. Right. right. So I'm, I've got my brother's ID. I can go have a beer. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. So he, we don't know San Francisco, so we're pretty much in this kind of sketchy part of town. And uh, we pull up.